Let's go. Am I the asshole for feeding my dog table scrap from a dinner my boyfriend made for us? I'm really not into the idea of like feeding food to an animal. But like, if you usually do that, why the fudge does it change something that your boyfriend made it? I, 24 female, have been dating Jay for four months. He is handsome, smart, funny, well-educated, has an awesome job, and is a sweetheart. So for now, she's like, green flag, green flag, green flag, green flag. Hey, space, how's it going? Sunday, he had a whole day planned for us. We were going to walk a nature trail and then go back to his space for dinner he was making. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I was so excited because it was going the first time he would I would be at his house. Good. In four months. That sounds weird. Hey, Ashley, sorry. Matter of taste. If, it ta if it's because it tastes bad, it sounds wrong, but like, fine enough. Good enough. Since we were hiking, he said I could bring my dog Shelby with us. Great. He made us a roast and some vegetable for dinner. I finished my plate before Jay did, and I took it to the kitchen. There was still about half of the roast left. And it was close to Shelby's dinner time, so I took half of the half of roast. Uh, that was not scrap. That was like dinner for the next day. We're doing in between both. Like, we're just starting with that. And after that, we're going quickly to the, the, the game section space. Rest assured. Um, I'm catching up. Sorry. So that was that was leftovers. That was not dog food. That's what I get. I was carrying the plate to the back door with Shelby to feed her outside and Jay asked me what I was doing. I told him feeding Shelby. Jay said something like, well, that's not dog food. Jay know I mainly feed Shelby a raw diet. I opened the door to put the plate down for Shelby and Jay got up, took my plate away from her, went to the kitchen and came back with it wrapped up in tin foil and told me to leave. His excuse was that he made dinner for me and him, not me, him, and my dog, and that I should have asked before I helped myself since I would have used his leftover. Um, that's dumb. Okay, like, the guy clearly... Maybe he has all those green flags, but the guy, the guy clearly have some rigidity somewhere there. I did leave, but not before telling him that he made that meal for us, so I could do with some of it as I please, and he knew damn well how I feed Shelby. I tried talking to my friend about it later that night and she said Jay was right to be upset, but this friend has never really approved of how I treat my own dog, so I feel like she was probably a bit biased uh, and the wrong person to ask. I'm not super down like the way this is approached because how to say E he might have overreact to some point, but like also the way she defend, the way she treats her own dog seems like she treats the dog as if it was a child. So it's not just feeding your your dog as you were you would normally. Like I had a friend that like tried to explain to me that it was more important for us to like uh what's the word? When you're you're putting into fire to get the hashes from one of her dogs so that she would be able to put her in the ground, put it in the ground. And like when we were asking, how does it make sense to spend $400 to burn a dog uh, instead of like being able to buy something that she really needed? She was like, no, but you don't get it. My dog is really important. You cannot understand. I have a child. I would do that for, I, I hope I would never have to do that for my child. But like, as much as I love my cat, the best you're gonna get is a box. I love him. <laughs> so, uh, don't freak for him. He's fine with that, I guess. Uh, and <laughs> screw the idea of spending $400 to make him burn fur. Um, catch up, by the way, on the chat. Don't be scared. Clarification. She does not get restaurant food daily. I heat out maybe four times a month. If what I eat is dog safe or the restaurant makes food for dogs on request, then I bring some home for her. This is... That's not how you feed a dog. Shelby Daly's meals are a bit of brown bit of brown rice, raw vegetable and ground chicken heart, and beef liver. The hertz and liver are boiled just enough to kill bacteria, and that is all with the approval of Shelby's vet. This is not an I'm sorry. Maybe some people will be like, no, this is exactly how you need to treat your dog. This is not how you're supposed to treat your dog. 
like the formula that they made for them is like basically made so that they will be able to feed it and the dog will be in better health doing this is basically making you the one trying to count everything so let's catch up guys now i was like spam the chat hey okay so space um wait why would you get mad for someone feeding the dog dinner that's over yeah but like it's it's leftover that were consumable like it's not if you take the part that i'm that nobody's going to be interested in or like a fourth of a, a a meal you get like almost nothing feed it to the dog that makes sense that makes a lot of sense If you have a full meal, a full leftover dinner, don't cut the dinner so that you can feed your dog human food. It's not good for the dog. I mean, like, there's so much spice in what we eat as human. Um, two, 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 two. <laughs> Big geese wrote, wrote, she's an asshole for not simply saying, could I maybe give some of the worst case scenario? You can just say like, can I? Worst case scenario. He should not have thrown his well-cooked leftover to the floor for a dog. It's I it's the probably the way that she didn't ask for it. Space called him called him and sissy. I mean, I'm not I'm not willing to call him sissy for that, but like there's something that is probably a little rigid into that. Like if my wife did something like this, I would just be like even if I did not like it, like even if I did not like the idea of using the food I prepared for us for an animal. I would probably just let it slide, but that's me, I guess. And you don't know, you thought maybe she didn't like it and she didn't want to make him feel bad. Oh, she told it was perfectly good. They are perfectly healthy raw diet option, but based on her description, I don't think she's doing that properly. I think she's being a jerk. I, I would have to make research on that. Like I never really tried to feed uh, an animal raw diet. I We do for our cat like, once every never, when my wife is preparing herself a tuna sandwich, she's going to give him a like a little bit of her tuna, and that's pretty much it because it's too salty for cat. Most of human food, the way we prepare it, is not good for your animals. It's either too fatty or too spicy or too salty. Like, they don't need and don't want. Well, we don't need as much salt as we put in our food. Like, animals really do not need that. Well, did it actually say it was like a full meal worth of leftover? She says half of the roast was still there. So like if half of the roast is still there, you have you have as much as they just eaten. You know? So I would say that it would be at least that. Like I took half of the half of roast. Half the roast left and it was... Oh, there was clearly leftover for two human. At least one like a, a good eater is uh, yeah so that would mean that that would mean kind of a lot of food um she could have bring what she would give to shelby's to shelby that would have done that your mother-in-law feeds our dog a fully raw diet but it's quite good quite expensive honestly feeding your animal on raw diet you will need one of the cheapest options i've seen for that and that was still costful okay Basically, you needed to go to the um, what's what's the name of that? The butchery is that is that how we call that? Um, the place with meat, uh, and not the bad place with meat, like the good place with meat. Um, butcher, exactly the butcher. I'm sorry. Um, Canadian français. <laughs> Once every never, I'm searching for words that are pretty obvious. Uh, don't be too scared about that. So, let's see you can go to the butcher and there's some butcher that will just like take all the leftovers of the cut they're doing the, the fancy cut they're doing and will make a kind of raw diet with that and they will make you something balanced but it's like you're talking five to six dollars a day to feed your your, your dog Peter gets meat scrap from butcher then they pre-freeze exactly in it in half pound meals for the dogs and Karza, how's it going dear Guys, if you don't know the wonderful Karza, go drop some love. Hey, I did not get my key. Uh, <laughs> there's a, a thing for streamer that is called Dare Drop, where basically, depending on your stat, you, can, you, you could have had a free key for El Singer, and I was one average viewer down to be able to get it. 
acquired a 15, like a, a strong 15, and I was at 1389. I did not get my key. We'll have to pay, to pay for the game. That's all good. Like I do for most. Uh, you could easily use that same meat for stew. Exactly. Worst. The thing is, like those under parts. I will say under part, not because they are not edible. It's like um, we have a part on the code that we call in French la bavette. I'm not exactly sure how we call it in English, but like that's basically that part. The, in between the, the neck and like the, the poitral, which is supposed to be like very strong meat. It's hard to eat because it's very nervated, nervated, nervated. There's a lot of nerve in that. And you can still make stew. You can still make it cook slowly. You can till, still put it in a crock pot and people will eat that. Like for that reason, feeding your dog with that is still costly. You can easily spend five, six dollars a day on feeding your dog raw diet and maybe it's because i'm cheap <laughs> i wouldn't do that i don't believe like ah i'm happy i don't have a big dog and don't have to take the decision at the moment this little thing is happy on nuggets so i'm fine 